full disclaimer, I'm just a homeowner like you getting ready for hurricane season or any other emergency. I'm not an expert by no means on generators. Hello everyone. Today we're gonna be doing a quick review, overview of a whole house portable inverter generator. This is a Genmax GM9000 IED. And I'm gonna be telling you like what it comes with this generator the features, and also why I picked this one over the Predator from Harbor Freight and the Duramax 9000 watts, okay? Let's take a quick look around, information from outside. As you see, this is a maximum power 9000 watts on gas and a maximum power of 8550 on liquid propane. Here are more specifications. Let's take a look at the other side, have more information. Let's see, this one I believe are the same, same information as the other side I just showed you. Here you will see that this one comes with a easy start system, silent and compact, perfect for electronic and devices because the signal, electric signal is very clean. Low, low oil, oil shutdown, excuse me. Dual fuel with fuel efficiency technology and multifunction digital display. That's the, comes in this big box that is, I believe is 200, almost 260 pounds. The package, the generator by itself is like 243. Let's unbox this, let's open it. See, came with a wood cover protecting the generator. This thing is big, it's massive. This is a cardboard, cardboard, manual, user manual instructions. As you see there. Let's see, put it here on the side. I will be opening this and checking the the details in a second. Let's see, this generator comes with a CO2 detect. So if detect CO2, will shut off. Oh, here is the remote start. Okay, this is gonna be fun. I may need to reap the whole box because there's no way I'm gonna be able to take this out of the box without breaking the box. So let me see how I can open the bo this box. Okay, here it is. Jam Max. GM 9000 IED. This thing is huge. <laughs> Take a look of the control panel. Here is the digital display with hours voltage and load. The main switch. Here you can switch from gas to liquid propane. It's really hard right now. Gotta push it, pull it, I don't know, gotta figure out. And here, you can drain the carburetor, leave the generator running and put it in this position, neutral position, and you drain the carburetor. This thing came with a 50 amp dedicated plug, which is really good. This one is a 30 amp plug. And here you have your 120 volt comes with a parallel connection for a parallel kit. Here is the CO2 alert. Circuit breaker for the 50 amp. This two USBs, 120 voltage, 240 volt switch. 
you have a reset button, low idle switch, reset buttons for the 30 amps connector. This one is a reset buttons for the 120. Here it is. Get it close. Come with these handles that I hope um, I can move this by myself. We're, we're gonna see. Comes with a manual or analog fuel level indicator. Two point twenty six liter or six point nine gallon tank. CO two detector. There are more information is very useful. There you go. Now, cool thing, why I picked this one over the Predator from Harbor Freight, Predator 9000, and the Duramax 9000. My first option was the Predator 9000, because it was 9000 watts inverter, but then I find out about the Duramax that it was dual fuel, basically gas and liquid propane. But then I find out about this one, that on top of being dual fuel, is force, force air cooling. So what it means is the engine on the front, the front of the engine around here, have a fan pulling or sucking air from the front and pushing the air through the engine coming out through the back. And as you see, here is the exhaust pointing to the back. So it's, it's a really good thing versus the Predator and the Duramax. Those other two have the exhaust on the side. So if you wanna put this, two of these next to each other, that you have no problem, it's pointing back. With the other two, you gotta put it like an angle or stack them in, an, in a weird position so they don't burn each other. You know, there you go. So basically those two features were the main factor for me to buy this one over the Predator and the um, Duramax. The force air cooling system and the exhaust going through the back. See, I found something here. Let me see what it is. Comes with a uh, box right here. Sounds like tools. Let's see. Okay. Oh, look. It comes with a funnel for the oil. Comes with a spark plug tool to remove the spark. Comes with a screwdriver. Comes with a 50 amp plug, a 30 amp, four pins plug, and 220 regular plugs. So you can make your own extension core. So that is pretty good. Anything else under? I don't, I don't think there is anything else on there. I gotta say that it was pretty easy to move with the handles. By itself, it's really heavy, but the handles, I, I was surprised at how easy it is to move these things using those handles. And look what I found on there. I thought there was nothing else on there, but yeah, this is the liquid propane regulator. So basically comes with the liquid propane regulator and comes with a funnel with a spark plug removal, a screwdriver, the plugs, and the manual. Let's let's clean up all this mess.
Here is. Those are the very helpful wheels. Exhaust on the back. On this side, you have the oil. And the other side, you have the battery access. It's on this side. Also access to the air filter and the spark plug. That's another thing. Uh, the access to the air filter on this unit is also a lot easier than on the Predator and the Duramax. That's another thing that you have to think about. It's a lot easier. Um, and there was another, another difference that I can think about it right now. If I remember, I will mention it, but basically those are the main reasons. The access to the filter, the force air cooling system, and the exhaust to the back. Let me show you inside the covers. Okay, you open this cover with a 516 tool. This is the, I don't, I forgot how you call this thing, but if you run out of battery, you use this and you start the, the generator manually, basically. Let's see if I can take this over out. Let's see, there you go. Let's see, pull it a little more. There you go. The cover comes with a sound barrier, basically. Help to keep the inverter generator quiet or more quiet. Here is where you pour the oil and something that nobody mentioned it before, down here, this cap right here, I believe is the filter for the oil. So this one comes with a filter. The Duramax and the uh, Predator for Harbor Freight, I believe don't come with a oil filter, you know? This is the side of the unit. Right here on the front, barely can see, let me get in there, is the fan. The fan is pushing air or pulling air through the engine, coming back and shooting the hot air out through the back. So that is really, really good. Let me open the other side. Let's go to the other side. Here is the other side. Here is the battery. Here, this is the filter. And as you see, you can take this cover out. Let's get there. This cover out and you can fit your hand easily to pull it out of here and clean the filter, change the filter. So basically that is what is on this side. the cover right here another thing that uh when i was opening this this side of the the generator i thought about it about the warranty and the manufacturer i find out that the manufacturer that made the this generator also make predator and the duromax generators it's the same manufacturing facility for all three the main difference that is that Gem Max basically took the Predator and the Duramax and fixed or improved a lot of the issues the other two has or had. So that's why. And I'll, about the warranty, this one is one year warranty. And uh, I believe the Predator is the same, but the Duramax is like three years. But this one is like $200 cheaper. And with those $200, you buy this unit from Amazon and you can buy the extended warranty and extend it to four years. Okay.
that is the review overview of the gem max 9000 dual fuel generator okay guys if you find this video helpful for you please uh subscribe give it a thumbs up i will really appreciate it and uh, at some point i will be putting oil on this thing start it for the first time and see how that goes okay so um thank you for watching and leave uh, any question that you have in the comments i will try to respond to your question as soon as, as possible thank you